Hey guys, Pugface777 here, and today I'll be showing you guys every single sketch or inspiration location in Feral. I know you guys have been asking for this guide for a while, so here it is. But before I begin, you guys know what time it is. Comment of the week. This week's comment goes to, drumroll, <laughs> Boo the Bunny, and they just said, Pugfam. Thank you so much for the comment, and now let's start the video. So a huge thanks to Feral Archives for providing all the info and screenshots used in the video. Also, note that some inspiration inspirations might be outdated or unavailable due to rotations in quests. Alright, so let's begin in Mugmire Marsh. Right now, these are the sketches that you can find here. First up is the Bloodstain, and this was actually found in an earlier quest, so you might not be able to get it at the moment. But if the quest does come back, you will find it on the door of a hut to the north of Spawn. Next is the Broom. This one is located next to the NPC Scald at Spawn. The Dark Skull is located in the Swampside Town on a giant mushroom. The Fertile Soil is found in Sporville in a quote, small mutant chicken coop. Feral is just so strange sometimes. Okay, next up is the Golden Leaf. This one is located in Sporville on a huge tree. Then we have the Green Egg. You can find this one on a mailbox with the Mutant Chicken. Latchkey's gear is located on a rock next to this creepy looking statue. The Menacing Spike is found in the Swampside Town behind a hut. Next is the Mossy Sword, which is found in the waters of Sporville. Finally, we have the Rose, which is found in the middle of this swampy area next to some rocks and a large mushroom. So those were all the sketches found in Mugmire Marsh. Now let's move on to Blood Tundra. These are all of the inspirations you can find here. First up we have the Bloody which was part of a quest. Unfortunately this one is unavailable until the quest comes back. Next is the Everlasting Flame which can be found on the second floor of a huge house in the village. The ice block is located next to the sleds in the village. Next, the killer soup is found in a small cave in the blizzard. This one may be a bit tricky to find. The little automation is found to the house left of Luca at spawn. The peering eyes is located in a broken down building just north of spawn. Not gonna lie, that one is pretty terrifying. Next is the soot stone. You can find this one in a narrow pathway found in the blizzard. This one is also pretty hard to find. The spring water is found next to the skull in this little blood pond. Next, the succulent fruit can be located in the oasis behind a waterfall. Finally, the twiggle soul is found in the small gravestone in the middle of the blizzard. Rip twiggle. Those were all the sketches found in Blood Tundra, so we can move on to the last land, which is Lake Root Valley. These are all of the inspirations you can find here. So first we have the Bubble Stream. You can find this one in the river on the west side of the map. The next one is the Cat Charm, and you can spot it on the side of this small building. The Cheese Wheel is located next to one of the houses in the Arrow Peak Village. The Cosmic Pearl is found in the river on the east side of the map. Next, we have the elixir, which can be found beside a pot in the Arrow Peak village. Kobold whiskers are found from the NPC Kobold. To get this one, you interact with him and you'll get the sketch. The mask engraving is found on a shield looking thing, leaning on a pillar. Next, the pleasant music is found by interacting with the NPCs Ava and Cassia. The poofy is found next to a tree. That little thing is just so cute. The power flower can be found in the southern village next to one of the buildings. Next up, you can find the sunburn when you interact with Hans. Put on some sunscreen, dude. Jeez. Finally, the terrible joke can be obtained by talking to Lysander in the southern village. And those were all the inspirations that you can obtain in Feral at the moment. Again, this might become outdated in the future, but hopefully this does help you guys out. If I missed anything, leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to show your support. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video, and as always, stay epic, stay awesome, bye!